This is a tutorial on Google Classroom, and in this we will show you how to manage assignments, assign grades, and how to return them to your students. Is adding an assignment. And I'm going to show you how I do this in my class to what I feel is maximum efficiency. Now again, it could be one class or two classes. Maybe it's a makeup assignment, so you only want a few students to do it. So, okay, so what I do is I choose, is this for one class or multiple classes? Uh, I have my title, I have my instructions, usually I have my students follow the instructions on a Google Drive doc. Uh, but I also make it public on the web so that parents can see it, or anybody with the link, and I put a short URL there. That way the parents will see the post and be able to access the instruction sheet. I've chosen the topic, I've given the due date, but of course I do have to add the doc to, for the students to access. Now. This first doc is a view-only file because it's the assessment description. So what I also do is add the rubric. So for the rubric, what I choose is, and I click here, and I make a copy for each student. I don't want the students to edit the file. I do that when they're collaborating on something in class. But this is an assignment that each individual does, so I'm going to make a copy for every student, and I'm going to click Assign. Now what that does for me is, in Google Classroom, in the folder, I can instruct students to actually paste a link. If it's a video, I can get them to paste a link at the top here, for example. If I want them to do an assignment, they can paste their assignment and their work cited right there. And then what I can do is comment on the rubric and then they can do the reflection later and it's all private between me and the student. Now if I want, I can assess a certain point value or I can make it ungraded. So you can see here now, it is automatically ungraded and right here where it had a point value, is, is gone. But let's say I do want it to be graded. Let's say it's on an eight-point rubric with four criteria, so it's going to be at a 32, let's say, points, at least on a rubric. Let's say the student had a 30. I put that in. It's 30 out of 32. It's not returned yet because maybe I want to give it back to the student after I've done the assessment for every student in the class. Let's say I wanted to email the student and say, hey, you're missing something in this assignment. I would go up to the email thing and I would click and then type my message and that individual student only is going to get that message. When I'm ready to return it, now in this case all students equals one, so I'm just going to check the students that I want to return the assignment to. This is after I've given my comments and things like that. And then I would click return, gives me a little notification, Do you sure? are you sure you want to return it? Click return, I can give a private comment if I would like, and then I click return, and then one submission is returned and that student will get a notification in their inbox. And you can see here, I've got a note, I've returned X number of assignments to students, I've got some that are not done, meaning they haven't submitted them, and I've got uh, X number that are finished. Let's say at some point I want to change the instructions. I can go up to my little dots. I can choose edit. And then that's going to allow me to edit the original post. So you can see here in my stream that I've got a bird's eye view of the assignments I've graded and returned, things that haven't been submitted, things that are done, but I have yet to assess. If I want, I can view all of the work that's been done by clicking view all. And this will give me a long stream from the beginning of the class right down to um, the most recent. So the most recent would be at the top. Now we have the new assignment posts, so then they can open that up. So what students would do, for example, in the document, they would paste their work here, whether it's an essay, maybe it's a mind map that they made in Google Drawing that they could turn into a PNG and paste right there. Uh, it could be a link to a video that they've made, whatever the assignment might be. Links or the actual text can go here, and all they have to do is click here, turn in, and they the teacher will get a notification that they've done it. 
Are you sure you want to turn in your work? You click turn in. And they will see this. They've got their grade here. They can create anything that they want to add to it if they have other uh, work to submit to go along with the assignment. And of course they can add links, files, and Google Drive documents too. And then they can resubmit work. They can add a private comment if they have questions for the teacher. Now in this demo I've already done the assessment so you can see here that they have a grade but they can see that their work has been submitted or resubmitted. They can click unsubmit and work on it again uh, should you ask them to do so. So click unsubmit and they can do some work. Maybe they have to add more links or files. Maybe they have to add something from Drive and then they can click resubmit. They turn in and then I can go back and change the, the point value. Remember, at the moment, we're looking at the student view. So after students have resubmitted the work, I get an update in my email, and then I can say, hey, this student has just resubmitted some work. I can click open, and then I can go straight to the document, and if I need to change the work, give a new grade, return it again to the student, and then they will see, oh, I got that extra point, I'm really happy.